In this instance, we will compare both legs, medial and lateral gastrocnemius muscles. The calf muscles tested in an evaluation are entirely up to you, the clinician, in what you would deem most appropriate for your subject. Begin by placing Mr. EMG sensors on your subject's medial and lateral gastrocnemius muscles with them standing facing away from you. Follow our recommended muscle placement sites. Show your subject how to perform a maximal voluntary contraction of the calf muscles by performing a standing calf raise using Mr. EMG biofeedback. Now record your subject performing three maximal voluntary contractions of their calf muscles simultaneously. Ensure you take a picture of each activity so you have an image to match your data. Now record the gastrocnemius muscle activity of your subject's natural walking gait. If there is muscle inactivity present, provide advice on active engagement when walking, such as plantar flexing their feet during the push-off phase of their gait cycle, asking your subject to walk again, and measure if there is an improvement. Show your subject the resulting EMG data recording of recommended movement changes. Now assess gastrocnemius muscle activity by performing the following exercises. We will start with a stationary cycle, followed by seated calf raises, finishing with standing calf raises. The exercises you test are entirely up to you, the clinician, and what you would deem most appropriate for each subject based on their symptoms. To conclude the assessment, we recommend you sit down with your subject and analyse their data, identifying any muscle inactivity during movements you feel is related to their symptoms. We hope you enjoy using Mr. EMG.